Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates and more videos. Our lesson for today is about colonialism and imperialism in Southeast Asia. Like what was discussed in the previous lessons, the reason why European countries sailed to other countries in the world were to explore and later on conquer this land. This can be attributed in many factors. The region that first witnessed the arrival of a European galleon during the early part of 16th century was Southeast Asia. From Europe in the kingdoms of Iberian Peninsula, where the countries of Spain and Portugal can be found, came the first attempt to sail out to other lands and find routes for navigation. With the objective of gaining access to spice like nutmeg and globe from Asia, as well as to stop relying to the trade headed by the Italians in Venice, the Portuguese followed by the Spanish launched the period of exploration, which later on led to the colonization of territories outside Europe. By the virtue of Tordesillas, the world was divided into two sides so that it can be explored by Spain and Portugal. The western part was given to Spain, while the eastern part was given to Portugal. When Portugal found the road toward Asia, through sailing down to Africa, it eventually reached Goa in India. From there, the Portuguese intensified their search for road in order to search Southeast Asia. And this is the map showing the division of the world according to the Treaty of Tordesillas and Treaty of Saragossa between Spain and Portugal. During the reign of Prince Henry, the navigator, the Portuguese became successful with their first attempt to sail outside Europe. Prince Henry showed how big his contribution was in finding road brought to the large galleon of Portugal to Asia by supporting the development of technology of navigation, studying the subject related to cartography and allocating the funds for the people who attempted to navigate outside Europe. From the success of Portugal in reaching Goa, the Portuguese next arrived in Southeast Asia. It had been a long time since Europeans desired to reach Southeast Asia in order to obtain sources of expensive spices. It was 1511 when almost 40 ships of Portuguese docked in Malacca, and later on became successful in occupying the said territory. This expedition from Goa was headed by Alfonso de Albuquerque. Because of their experience in battling with the Muslims in Iberia, and due to their desire to spread Christianity to other parts of the world, the Portuguese were brutal against Muslim population in Melaka. The fall of Melaka to the hands of the Portuguese marked the start of hundred years of changes that Southeast Asia would face under colonialism. From Melaka, the Portuguese went to Molucas, and they found the Spice Island being contented by the Sultanates of Tidor and Tornit. Portugal used this conflict to benefit from the spices of the island. Despite the assertion of Portugal to monopolize the obtaining and trading of the spices, it did not directly become successful with preventing of the Sultanates from trading with the neighboring territories. Aside from Melaka, the Portuguese also established and based Laurel of the Timor. From the island of Southeast Asia, the Portuguese wanted to strengthen its presence in the region and to trade with China. As a result, they got and rented to Macau from China in order to make it into trading port. Even though this, its effects were not direct compared to succeeding colonizers, the involvement of Portuguese in the region paved the way for other Western countries to reach and occupy Southeast Asia. In the next 
decades of the 16th century until the 17th century, the presence of Portugal wanted in the Southeast Asia due to the arrival of other European countries. Later on, Portugal was left behind by the fellow colonizers and the people whom defeated in the battle. After Spain became successful in chasing away the Muslims from their kingdoms due to the uh, alliance of the kingdoms of Castile and Aragon, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, the Spaniards became the first competitor of the Portuguese in the field of navigation and exploration of the land and the seas outside Europe. When the world was divided into two by the virtue of Treaty of Tordesillas, the Spaniards were designated to sail westward. Because of this, they obtained and occupied the large part of American continent. From the mines there, Spain got silver, which sustained and made their empire richer. When the Portuguese navigator Ferdinand Magellan failed to obtain the support from his own country, he went to Spain and got the funds, people, ships, and he needed. Magellan's proposal get to east by sailing westward was bold. During this time, many people still believed that earth was flat and might fall to the endless cliff if you navigate in just one direction. Because of the rise of views that the world is round and the wealth of Spain, Magellan obtained the support he needed for his expedition. In 1521, Magellan found the island in the Pacific that will later be known as Philippines. Even though Magellan died in the Philippines, his expedition successfully returned to Spain and proved that the earth is round. Despite this success, the arrival of Magellan in the Philippines gave birth to a number of problems for Spain and Portugal. Because of the world was divided into one part only, it was not clear whether the Philippines and the island of Southeast Asia were in the space of Portugal or Spain. In order to address this concern, the Treaty of Zaragoza was signed in 1529. Even though the Philippines was under the territory of the Portuguese in this division, Spain insisted of their presence in the region. After Magellan's expedition, Spain sent more expeditions in Southeast Asia. The long experience of the region in colonialism and imperialism, intensified by the brutality of the colonizing countries, paved the way for the dynamics and the events of in this chapter of the history of Southeast Asia. So that's all guys what I can share for today. Thank you very much for watching.